end of the day, we have to recognize what we are doing to reduce crime. And we got to have to remember that everyone who is sent to prison is going to come out of prison uh, eventually, unless they have a life sentence. So are they going to come out of prison a better person or are they going to come out of prison as someone who's been educated in criminal activity and is more likely to recommit offenses. In fact, our rate of recommission of offenses, what we call the recidivism rate, is almost 50% in the state of Louisiana. So what we wanna do, if we can, is try to stop people from repeating that behavior. And if that can be done better on the outside of a prison set setting, then that's what we need to try to do. So we have a diversion program. It's often sometimes called DA probation, where someone is uh, not convicted of a crime, and if they take the necessary steps, we won't prosecute them. Uh, this is for low-level type of offenses. We also have, uh, in the 22nd Judicial District, Washington, Washington and St. Tammany Parishes, the largest number of specialty courts. And we, these are courts where you plead guilty to the offense, and you go through a court-administered program to try to rectify your behavior. And if you don't rectify your behavior during that program, you're sent to prison. And of course, some people don't change and they are sent to prison. But even for those people, we have one of the specialty courts is called the reentry program. And that is a person who has committed multiple offenses, not sex offenses, not violent offenses, but other types of offenses. And we send them to an 18 month program, 18 months to three years at Angola where they are given life skills, work skills, et cetera, et cetera. And if they graduate successfully from that program, they're released early from prison and go out and become taxpaying members and law-abiding members of our society. And that program has had a recidivism rate of less than 10%. So it's been very successful. And all of these specialty court programs have a recidivism rate, which is less than if we just sent them to jail. And of course, that's what we want to do long term is to stop people from committing offenses and recommitting offenses. For those people who have decided that they don't want to be contributing members of our society, we have a place reserved for them. And that's jail. And they need to stay there as long as necessary uh, so that they no longer victimize our society and hurt the, the members of our society who are playing by the rules and being good citizens.